Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Matthew, my mascot. He loves math, so he wants to see everything I do in these videos. And we're going to study adding and subtracting big numbers up to six digits. Now, addition of big numbers is really easy. It goes the same way as you're used to adding smaller numbers. All we do is add 2 plus 9 here in the ones. It's 11, so we carry over to the tens. 1 plus 6 is 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. Again, we carry 6 here and 1 here. Or you might call it regrouping, either way. Then we add 1 plus 7 plus 8. 16. Again, we carry or regroup over here. And 1 plus 4 is 5. And 3 plus 5 is 8. All done. Very easy. Subtraction works the same way too. You might have to borrow or you might have to regroup if you call it that. For example here, 1, take away 2. You cannot do it. So, we borrow from here and leave two tens here, and then we get 11 here. 11 minus 2 is 9. Again, 2, take away 7, you cannot do it, so you borrow or you regroup. Leave 100 here, and 12 here. 12 minus 7 is 5. Here you have 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we just go on the same way. 0 minus 6, you cannot do it, so... You take 1 from here, leaves 0 there, and 10 here. And this is in the thousands, but you don't really need to think about whether it's the thousands place or hundred thousands place or whatever, because the subtraction works the same way. 10 minus 6 is 4. Then 0 minus 2 you cannot do, so borrow from here. Leave 4 here, 10 here. 10 minus 2, 8. Then 4 minus 2, 2. Finally, and all done. Here I have a problem. But that problem has a big problem. Maybe you can see it. What's wrong with it? The problem is that these different place value units are not lined up correctly. And students need to learn that. They need to actually practice writing the numbers under each other so that they line everything up correctly. So I'm going to write it again. 248,900. You can put the comma there to help you line up everything. And then this is 67,000, so 6 here, 7 here, and 215. Now we are ready to add. It's 5, 1, 11, 16, 11, and 3. Now let's look at the subtraction problem here. And I want to especially look at this one because it is all these zeros here. So it means we need to borrow over zeros, as they call it, or regroup over the zeros. Let's look at it. And first I'll write out the numbers over here. Let's see. 600,000 minus 29,000 and 820. There, and we'll start here. Zero minus zero is easy. But then zero minus two, that cannot be done. So we need to borrow or regroup. And we need to go all the way over here to this 6 in the hundred thousands. Take one hundred thousand from it, leave 5 here, and put 10 here. And then we continue borrowing. Take one from here, leave 9 there, and it becomes 10 here. 10 of these units. 10 of the thousands. You don't need to really think about the hundred thousands, ten thousands, whatever, because it is very mechanical how it is done. Here we leave 9 of these units here, becomes 10 of these units, happens to be hundreds. We leave 9 of those units and take 1 unit of them and it becomes 10 of these units. 10 tens in this case. And now we can subtract finally. 10 minus 2, 8. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 minus 9, 0. 9 minus 2, 7. Then 5 here. And of course you could check this subtraction by adding this and this to check for sure that you get 600,000. Here I have a table where n means number. n plus 10,000 means that we add 10,000 to the number. And n plus 100, similarly, I have two numbers here that we're going to add 10,000 and 100 to both of those numbers. And it is pretty easy indeed. 218,607 plus 10,000. We're adding 10,000. So in this number, let's find 10,000's place. It's over here, it's thousands, ten thousands place. So to this number I add one, because I'm adding a ten thousand. So one plus one is two. 
This number changes to 2, nothing else changes. And then when I add 100 to it, nothing else changes but the hundreds digit. Here's the hundreds digits. 6 increases by 1 to 7, 700. So I turn 18,707. And this number, it actually is easier. 604,000 plus 10,000. Here's my 10,000s place and I add 1 to it. So I get 614. Thousand. Then I add hundred to this number. So all I need to do is just here's hundreds place. I write one there. Six hundred four thousand hundred. Now let's solve a word problem. Last year the library spent three hundred forty five thousand dollars, and this year it spent twenty three thousand dollars more. But next year it will spend. 35,500 less than this year. It means the library is planning to spend that much less, okay? And how much is that? How much will they spend next year? Or how much are they planning to spend next year? We have last year, this year, and the next year. So let's first figure out this year. Last year they spent this much, and this year they spent that much more. Let's figure out how much they spent this year. And that is, of course, an addition problem. All I need to do is add those numbers. And then 23,000 more. Okay, that's pretty easy. All those zeros here, and then 8, 6, and 3. So this year they spent this much, $368,000. Next year they are planning to spend this much less than this amount. 35,500 less than this amount, so now we will subtract. Okay, I could write the number right under it and subtract, but I don't have much space to write my borrowings and stuff, so I will write it again here. 368,000 minus 35,500. And here, 0 minus 0, that's easy over here. Over here we need to then borrow or regroup. Leave 7 here and 10 here. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, is 3 and 3. Okay, so that is our final answer. 332,500. Now, my last problem here is actually not mine, but Mathis. He made it up. And uh, he said that these are the weights of his family members. There's Mathis weight. And then there's Matthew's mother and father and sister's weight. And uh, they've been added together already. So what's the problem then, Matthew? What shall we do? Ah, okay. There's an error in the addition. Our task is to find the error and something else. Also, our task is to find what is Matthew's weight. You mean just guess? Right, okay. We are supposed to guess which one of these numbers is Mathis' weight, plus find the error in the addition. Okay, I add here 0, 0, that was correct. Then 4 plus 8 would be 12, plus 2, 14, plus 7. Ah, okay, here we have our error. 5 plus 8 is 12, and these make 9. 12 plus 9 is 21. Okay. And have that there. We have 21 and carry 2 here, so this is surely the wrong 2. Okay, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 9 makes 20, plus 3, 23. Oh, that's correct. Okay, 2 plus 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6. 63,100 pounds. Mammoths are heavy, guys. Okay, so I fixed it now. And now I have to guess which one is Matthew's weight. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the heaviest of them is the father, and that the next heaviest might be the mother, and that these two are then Matthew and his sister. And uh, I'm just gonna guess that if Matthew's a boy, that he weighs a little bit more than his sister, that this is Matthew's weight. Is that correct, Matthew? Yeah, I got it right. Okay, well, all good then.